Okay, so welcome here to the next part of domain names and hosting. Now, as I said uh, before, I've already got a hosting account. Um, and on that hosting account, I can host unlimited amounts of domains. So I don't have to um, set up a new hosting account and register a domain with it. All I need to do is say I want to register my domain with my existing host. So I've logged into my hosting account, which uh, is just host.com. And up here it says register a new domain and host it free inside this account. So I'm going to put the domain name down, which if you remember was best workout and it was hyphen in between because we couldn't get best workout videos without any uh, hy uh, hyphens. Bestworkoutvideos.com. It will go off and search for that. And it's just checking the database and it's saying, yeah, there it is. It's available. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to add on the domain privacy um, on this occasion. I'm just going to buy it. Um, just that, please. I could probably buy it. Uh, if you look around, you can probably buy it cheaper than transfer it. But I just find it easier to get it through my um, my existing hosting account. Uh, just going to double check that. So I'm just going to go to spreadsheet. I've got everything right here. Best workout videos. And it was best hyphen workoutvideos.com. That's right. Best workoutvideos.com. Best workout videos .com. Always wise to double check these things because I um I've accidentally bought things with the wrong spelling, missed out a letter or a hyphen, so it can make a big difference. So before you um pay for it all, um double check it and um you'll be good. So I've selected PayPal to pay for this, so um I won't take through that, that's fairly obvious. Um and we'll come back afterwards. Uh, and I'll tell you what happens um, next. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through how you host the domain name that you've now bought and should have been propagated across to your hosting account, how you host it on your account. Now, if you're registering your domain name at the same time as setting up your hosting account, then that will be your main domain. OK, it will be your main domain. Now, I already have a main domain. So this is just going to be another domain that I'm hosting on that main domain. So what I'm going through here is what we call an add on domain. OK, so this is only where you already have a domain name. So you've already got a hosting account and there's already an existing name, but you now want to add on another domain name so this is what we're doing as I say if you are registering for a new hosting account and at the same time registering your um, newly purchased domain name then in that case that will be considered your main domain so there is a difference there um, if you're registering for your with a hosting account for the first time they'll take you through all the steps so don't get too worried about it or too confused um, a good hosting account like just host or hostgator will take you through um, the steps you need to to know so and anyway, in this case i already have a main domain this is just going to be another one of my many domains because remember um if you go with just host or the 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 hostgator that allows you to have unlimited domains then you can just keep adding domain names without having to get hosting all the time you just have the one host and you can host lots of domain names and that's what we're doing here so basically I want to add on this domain so I click on add on here and it will take me through to this create and add on domain now uh, just host has lots of video tutorials um, here's one um, and it will take you through what you need to do it's not me doing typing all this out now um, I'm just recording the video that they do so uh, don't worry if it all seems a bit too confusing the video tutorials on any good hosting account that has cPanel um, it's a cPanel account will take you through the steps that you need to do to get your 
website up and running well at least your domain name registered on your host okay so I'll I'll go through that stage I'm just going to have a quick short to see if I remember what to do there we are so here we are with mine and um, it was bestvideos.com make sure you put the dot com there's no www bit at the bit at the front best hyphen workout videos.com and then it automatically fills out these for when you're hosting you don't want to change anything for an add-on you just um, put in a, a password okay uh, and then you just click add on domain so basically what it is it's setting up its own sort of little file directory here public file directory which is basically where the domain name is hosted okay and it's setting it up with its own publicly sort of facing directory here okay so you don't have to touch any of those it fills it out automatically uh, just put out the domain name that you've bought here without the www bit remember the .com or .org or .net and it should fill out the rest automatically as I said there's lots of videos click add on domain and you're done basically and it'll take you through um, and you'll see it as one of the add-on domains or if it's your first one it will just be the first line so that's just going through that process and there you go the add-on domain bestworkoutvideos.com with the hyphens in there has been created so we're all good and then you can go back to the main cPanel uh, don't want to do that so I'm just going to go home so we're all done and I'll just go back to the admin center. So this is what we call this, the, the main admin page for your hosting account. Now, the way to check that that's all done is if you go to, um, you go to Google and uh, into the main address bar here, put your domain name, uh, bestworkoutvideos.com. Oh, and it hasn't found it there so you need to just sometimes wait a little while before it gets uh, registered and propagated across but don't worry we'll come back to that and you'll see what it will look like when it's all ready so if you put the address in like that and nothing happens it comes up with this don't worry about it for for the moment um, it's you may not have done any mistakes it just uh, could take a little while to propagate across um, and the hosting to be sorted. So we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll see whether it's done or not. Okay, so I'll come back about five minutes later after I initially tried. So as I say, sometimes it can take a few minutes, five to 10 minutes to propagate across for it all to, the files to be registered and, and sorted. So go away, have a cup of tea or a, or a latte or a cappuccino, whatever it takes your fancy. Then come back to the address bar here put in the address for your new domain press return and what you get is this index of CDI bin there index of and this is what we're looking for we're looking for the index of page and basically what this is is basically means that the file directories uh, have been set up ready to receive your website files so basically this is just telling you that the file directories that what you've set up are, um, with the add-on or if it was your main domain are now ready obviously there's no files in there there's no website in there so it just comes up an index of so it's just a sort of a directory address taking you to empty files and what we're basically going to be doing next is loading on a, a blogging platform called WordPress which is the most straightforward and simple way of getting a, a website or a blog up and running believe me um, years ago you'd have to make your own website and if you unless you're sort of a, a good graphics designer or web designer even if you did them in some website generating program they always looked a bit amateurish and rubbish word process takes all that headache um, away and makes blogging and hosting websites and creating websites an absolute doddle and they can look really professional uh, and it's very easy so that's the exciting bit 
I won't go to talk about it too much because that's what we're going to be doing in the next module. So I hope you found this all fairly straightforward. As I said, when you're setting up your domain names with your hosting accounts, the hosting accounts should have lots of video tutorials and, and customer service is usually very good. They are with just host.com. I'm not sure about HostGator because I obviously they're not my hosting account, but I've heard good things about them as well. So whatever you choose, um, I'm sure they should help you through the, this initial process. So until next time, um, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you later.